Being resourceful is a good thing to be. Being the word resourceful is not a good thing to be because it's about to be dead and gone. Because resourceful, when you break it down, doesn't make a lot of sense. It's essentially a word about getting the max use out of resources and being able to do a lot with little. And the only scenario where it's not important if you're resourceful is if you are full of resources. So I don't like that the word is essentially the only circumstance where it does not matter. So we're gonna remedy that for today with a U7 word change. And U7 is the word that I'm going to be creating. I wanted to do something that really has use in the name because it's making use out of little. It's also about kind of using everything. That's why we go into the next portion of the word. And I also think that inventing is kind of a key part of being resourceful and something that can contribute to that, as well as talent. So the end of talent and invent are both in there. And those are all the core concepts that get built into you seventh for such a tremendous trait that you really would hope would be present in people let's not get it wrong on a fundamental level you know and as i am now 30 days away from the due doomsday deadline and doing this series for an entire year we're laying mountain dew throughout that process i think i've given a lot of evidence that i'm very you seventh and i continue to plan on doing so uh, but there comes a point where you plateau when you just use everything that you have in your capability. And then there comes a point where you just can't do more. And I've kind of been at that for a while, it feels like. I'm gonna keep working, but um, sometimes just a little bump in resources might be nice. Mountain Dew. I can't wink harder. I've done it for almost a year. So use U7, be U7. Get rid of resourceful, let's move on. Song of the day is Marima by Jimmy Hunt, and this is in French, although it's not super important to really know the lyrical content of this one, but the music is extraordinarily lavouille-full and does some of what my favorite stuff is in music where there is ultra building throughout the song and fantastic layering, and that is very true of this song. A lot of the different instruments that are sprinkled in are so interesting too, and the like vocal stretch of the same note for like the last two, three minutes of this song is so epic, dramatic, and trapolating. Like this song is so cool and it just gets better as it goes. And the album that this comes off of, I've featured several songs in Song of the Day from Jimmy Hunt off this album and uh, it's because it's just amazing. So I would recommend it really good. On to the video of the day, which is Pickle Rick. The seed where he turns himself into a pickle, ends up in the sewer, and has to be extremely u 7 to use anything and everything in that sewer to make himself like a functional killing machine again to survive and escape the sewer. And the like action choreography is spectacular. Of course, Rick's attitude and cratiumness is legendary, and even a little sprinkling in of the family therapy session is pretty funny. This is one of my favorite Rick and Morty episodes of their entire catalog. It is so good, and I don't think that that's a really uh, unique opinion. I think it's really Harold as that in general. But for creating U7, I would say that Rick Sanchez is about as good of an example as you can get. And he's got a lot to work with at his disposal as well. Not really in this clip, but that's kind of the point. That's what we have for the Daily Do Peace Suit.